This is PSPY simulation tutorial series. In this video, we will create a clipper circuit to run AC sweep analysis. So let's get started. In the first step, we will start with creating a new PSPY project on Cadence PSPY using component libraries. To do that, first we are going to run Cadence Orcat Capture from Cadence program menu. Select the license file and click on OK. Once the Orcat Capture is ready, we are going to create new project. To do that, we'll go to File, New, Select Project. Here I'm going to name it Clipper Circuit. Make sure you have selected Enable PSPY Simulation. And here you can add the location where you wanted to save the project. Now it is asking you wanted to use some template or you wanted to go ahead with the blank project. So in our case, we are going to create a blank project and OK. After creating the project, we are going to name this schematic. To do that, we'll go to schematic page, right click and select rename. Let's rename it Clipper and click on OK button. Now after naming this schematic, we are going to place the components. To do that, we'll go to place components. So first we are going to place a DC source. So let's select VDC, hit enter, right click place. Let's place it somewhere here, end mode. Then we are going to place an AC source. So let's search VAC and enter, right click place. After placing the AC and DC sources, we are going to place register, which will be a generic register and capacitor and diode. So let's place diode first. So we are going to use D1 and 3 940 diode. Hit enter, right click and place. Then we are going to place generic capacitors. Here we go. Right click, place. And one register. Next we are going to create this circuit using these available components. Now after creating this circuit, we are going to add ports and net names. To do that, we are just going to click over this port or place port button. First we are going to place port left which will be connected on these two open nodes at the R2 and at R1. So let's place that quickly. To rotate the component or to rotate the port, we are going to press R on our keyboard. So one will be placed here, one here, right click end. Then we are going to connect this using wire and mode. Now we are going to rename these ports. So this first will be connected to VDC. So let's rename it VDC. And this will be connected to VAC. So I'm just going to place these names here. And these will be the same net names on these nodes. If I'll just hover my cursor there, we can see we have named this net VDC. Next, we are going to add ports on here, but those ports will be output ports. So here we have these input ports. To place the output port, again go to place port. So this time select port left R and OK. Now rotate it using R key on your keyboard and I'm going to place it here. Right click, end mode. Let's rename those same as the other ports. So this will be VDC and this will be VAC. If you want, you can directly make the connection from these voltage sources. But I'm just telling you all this information. So in case we are creating big circuit, then these ports will be helpful to understand the design. So let's connect those using wire. Press W on your keyboard and connect VDC as well. Right click end mode. Now I'm going to add net name at the output side. So here I'm going to place a net label. Let's name it output and click over OK. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll discuss the output of this clipper circuit and run AC sweep analysis on this. So next, we are going to save this project. To do that, we'll go to File and click over Save button or press Ctrl S on your keyboard. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.emaeda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel.